Good afternoon and welcome to this uh, Roulette League Summer 2022 Division 1 match between David Red Sox and Fro 7 We will be off to Chongqing first and after that Santa Fortuna. And I'm joined for this match by the admin, Pappy. Pappy, say hello to the people. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good, good. Well, I would ask you what you want to see in the spin, but obviously you already bloody know, so that's no good to me. Yes. <laughs> At all, or all the view in public, but it is what it is. But either way, the spin will be with us in about 10 seconds, and uh, this should be quite a good match, I reckon. I mean, it's Div Division 1 for a start. Both these boys do know what they're about, but yeah, it should be good. Well, the spin is here. Pappy, would you like to read it out? Uh, yeah, of course. We have Hush, Falling Object as Block Guard, and Imogen Paul as the board member. That's so, oh. not too bad. I mean, uh, I'll probably, I, I think we're over. I think we're pretty much going to see a board member. Uh, sorry, um, a Block Guard start, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. Uh, it's also quite a long spin for Sean. Because. It, it, you, you can get Imogen in the facility, obviously, but if she gets all the way up to the stairs, you have to either drag her across to dump her on the other stairwell, or you have to five drone her. Find your inner. That's and true. For, for Harsh to get on the falling object, you have to use the satellite and wait a bit. Yeah, there is that. I'm pretty going with the uh, dumpling cook start. He's uh. We get the direct uh, the board member straight away. Always cracks me up. He doesn't get found there. Just you know, rolled up behind the uh, the till. Never gets actually found. I do find that funny. I must admit. And uh, David actually shooting a drone from the kitchen. I've never seen that before. That is uh, that's quite that's pretty damn cool. It's actually very very nice. Yeah, he might get Imogen up now and then 5 drone later when he's done with the hush kill. Yeah, could very well do. Uh, road, I don't think he has shot a drone yet. It's just moving towards hush now. Makes sense. I mean, hush will have moved on a little bit. I mean, he's got to he's got to go downstairs anyway. Uh, I suppose the nearer he is to the um, the satellite dish when he decides to. Uh, I need so to crack it. Oh, but throw chaos those to block guards here. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that the satellite takes uh, longer when these two are KO'd. Don't don't they aren't they the ones that ring him up? Yeah, he will uh, go, go anyway. down eventually to the satellite, but it will take like two minutes longer for him to get there. Okay. And David, meanwhile, he is. Waiting for Imogen to walk up, and it looks like uh, your hunch was right. He's going to get her in the facility, but this is a nice, quick one. Yeah. Look at yeah, this. He's not going to fight on it. Going to get here if you can. Immediately here. No. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Coming behind uh, him. The dumpling lady. Yeah, so he has to mm. delay Imogen if he wants to get her here. I don't think he's going to be able to, is he? Yeah, it looks like, like uh, it. looks like it's going to be a drag, literally and yeah. figuratively. Mm, well. And Frode uh, is also going into the facility now after he shot a drone. And but she's going up the wrong going stairs. A good way, yeah. Yeah. So he's also going to have to drag her. Our boys are. Uh... Just, just not getting the rub of the green, are they? They're not playing badly or anything. It's just the game is determined no. to, you know, piss them off. Yeah. Pretty unlucky for both of them here. I'd say, yeah. Um, chat, is the audio okay? Can you hear the game audio all right? We like, yeah, we, we certainly, uh, would like you to hear some. Just as both are um, sat there not doing a lot. Thank you, Rust. That's good to know. Now David is dragging Imogen across here, has to be careful with NPCs walking outside, obviously. I think that's the Umbrella Lady. Yeah, he's managed oh, that, and here cool. is the first uh, available dump yeah. kill up here. So that's good. Imogen Royce dead for David Red Sox, that is the first kill. 
through eight. Tranking Imogen's same. guard rather than uh, getting a knockout on the stairs there. Now, uh, seems to have gotten to the stairs without incident. Yeah. Should be just a matter of... Road has uh, the advantage of already uh, having the, the satellite activated, so Hush is going to be on his way when he gets there. Very true. Maybe he did want to knock those two two dudes out just to sort of extend, uh, yeah, extend Hush's time. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah. That's a five-head play, that. Yeah, that's really smart. Of course, got himself two block guards there. He can, uh, he can grab. See, there's Hush. He's still way up there. Look. Yeah, but he should be coming down anyway, uh, any time now. He just needs to put something underneath the. Uh... <laughs> you for getting impatient there, uh, David. Just about to um, disable the satellite himself now. Of course, like you said, he's got those two dudes up, so he should come a little bit quicker. Now, what's what's uh, what have the boys put underneath? Um, um, they got coins. Throat's, throat's uh, coins already there. Coins. Uh, throat didn't place coins yet, yeah, so he might just knock him out and drag him. I have to knock out both. Uh, uh, well, Mogwai first, obviously. But David did place a coin, so. That's he can awesome now chill on the rooftop here and shoot it from there. And of course, the balcony exit is not far away. Yeah, but the way David Red Sox is uh, standing here, it doesn't look like he's going to go for the balcony exit. Where do you think he's going to go, dude? I think he's just going to go down the pipe and then use the scooter. Is that quicker? It doesn't. It doesn't sound quicker. No, it's not quicker, but. Obviously, you can get spotted when you use the balcony exit. Oh, yes, and of course. Yeah, you are trespassing there as a block guard. Yeah. So, <clears throat> throw it now, KOing Mogwai and Hush. So, he's going to have the kill now, while David has to wait for Hush now, because he used the satellite way later than throw it. Sure. Yeah, see, throw it is also... Not going for the balcony exit. Also getting a bit of distance between him and the fallen object itself. Absolutely fine. There's no searching. There's no alert anywhere. He's just got to get his yeah. ass to the scooter. And he's taking the stairs rather than the pipe. But I don't think... Uh, uh, yeah. I don't think that... Um, uh, that deviation is going to matter much. No, it doesn't. It yeah. certainly doesn't look that way. And it looks like it will be map one for Froggy. Yeah. And uh, would you reckon, admin, is that map one for Froggy, or will David actually yeah. force a photo finish here? Down. I'm definitely going to wait. Of course, yeah. And I'm in. Just crush his dreams at the last second. That's what you're going to do. That's, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. David actually going down through the um by by the by the apartments. Is he going to go train station exit? I doubt it. Obviously, yeah, I am I am joking, chat. Come on, this. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, I think that's um that's taking it beyond the uh, it's thirty seconds. I think the photo finish um uh, limit is now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But um no, we're not hitting it here. So that's a map win for Road. I've just got um, to change the light here. There it is. I've screwed it in. We got a pink light up for Throat. Well, as soon um, as uh, Pappy sorts out the uh, the admin bit, yeah, I'll take the light back off then. Come on, I'm trying to itch and press one of these buttons. Even though I'm pretty sure that wasn't thirty seconds, I'm gonna look up both messages in the snowflake. Fair enough. Of course, our lads yeah, have to type done in the Discord just away. to uh, just to let us um, let us know. And there was uh, enough of a gap, was there, Pappy? Yeah, there was. Okay. It was uh, fifty seconds almost. So, 
Well, there we have it. Pro E takes David's map. We are now off to Santa Fortuna, chosen by Froggy. As soon as... Uh, do I have to refresh this link? Looks like I might. What's all that about? No, nope, oh you God. haven't sent the new. Uh, you haven't sent the new uh, link then, Happy. The new link. Uh, not new new link. You haven't updated the. Oh uh... yeah. I... Come on, mate. I need to clear the spin. <laughs> the paying public deserve better than this. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Just don't do it again. Okay, so we're off the Santa Fortuna, and uh, um, Pappy will be sorting out the spin. So he, um, yeah, he can't, he can't speak to uh, what he would like to see too much because he'll probably give away what the spin is if he does. But uh, it looks like you've uh, got that all set up. Of course, our three targets: Rico Delgado, Jorge Franco, and Andrea Martinez. Uh, three actually quite nasty people. Um, I would say. I don't know what I don't know why. Like, I I think it might have something to do with the fact that they're you know, um, heads of a drug cartel. That might might just uh might just be what it is. I mean, they could they they may very well love their parents, you know, and be and donate to charity and uh, be nice to kittens. I don't think that uh, excuses what they do in their professional lives. Yes, Froaty taking the first map, like we say. David will be hoping to take Froats off him. Now, Division 1, as it stands, we can have a quick look at the standings. Let me just see. And you see, there must be some mistake with this. It's got Pajero at the top. I can't I can't think that's, uh, that's correct. But... Uh, Saying that, he's, uh, he's opened up quite a lead so far, with seven points there. Nort in second with three. Uh, but no, not a lot of other matches have been played That You can see Danny and David have only played one so far, also the buff guy in Blythe. Yanni's played two. And of course, this is only, this is Froat's uh, only a second match as well, and I like and Ducker have yet to play. So a lot of movement to be had in Division 1. As it stands, this is uh, number four playing number eight, and number eight is currently in the lead. Oh, he's got an advert. Getting those uh, pound coins for him. Nice to see. Well, not two minutes until the spin gets here. Yeah. Um, but looking at the stats, Santa Fortuna's Froat's second most picked map, and he has a win rate of. 75% on it, and David has win rate of 25% on it. Wow! <laughs> so basically, it's 100% across the board then. Yeah. <laughs> if uh, if you want to do a bit of creative accounting, but yeah. You, um, well, you'd think Froaty's uh, going to be feeling pretty confident going into San Fortuna then. 75%. That yeah, is definitely. A, I mean, above 50% on any map, I would say, is a good win rate. But 75 is. Um, 75 out of 12 matches, so... That's pretty damn good. That's nine. Yeah. Quick maths. <laughs> 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 okay, chat. Oh, I know what I haven't done. I haven't done this for so long, I forgot to do some predictions. Well, never mind. You'll have to, um, you'll have to wait for the next match and uh, the next opportunity to do some gambling with your Bruce fucks. Uh, Bruce is uh, curled up next to me at the moment. Finally sleeping. Uh, I know you're all fans of him. So, there's your little Bruce update for the day. It's uh, 40 seconds until the spin gets here. I... I re this is this is killing me, actually, not being able to ask you what you want to see. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I heard Moo was, uh, Moo was uh, complaining about this to, um, I think it was Observer. Him and, him and Observer were casting. They both knew what the spin was, so they're like... Oh, we've got to, kind of got to spin our wheels for five minutes now. What do we do? What do we actually talk about? I mean, I could tell you that I would love to see a spin that is fast. There you go. Uh, that, that has nothing to do with the actual spin. No. It's well, it's what I generally Fortuna. like to see. Well, the spin is finally here after all that waiting. We have Rico Delgado with a Barber Razor as a band member. 
We have a neck snap as a mansion staff for Jorge Franco and kitchen knife hippie for Andrea Martinez. Now, are we going to see the old standard uh, mansion staff or kitchen start? I would start mansion staff here personally. We're going to see that and uh, what? Well, actually, isolate in the um, in the garage, or are you thinking that I, I on actually the bridge? Think that's... I think bridge ISO would be optimal here, but mansion is also a good start. Now, I say bridge ISO like I know what I'm on about. I have no idea. All I know is that Enrico ends up on the bridge, knocked out. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's all I know. I don't know how you go about it. Uh, it's it's basically you peekaboo Rico, so he's no, close no, 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 to no, the no, door. No, no, no. Then I, you I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't ruin the mystique. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Froe uh, is in, and he is um, sprinting to the garage. He's got Rico there. So what yeah. happens here? We give him a little bump, is it? Or just uh, an audio lure? I'd say he's going for an audio lure. Yeah. Which... Yeah, looks like it. Um, does he have Rico on the hook? Can't see. He's not got him in instinct. He yeah, does indeed. Yeah, sure. And... There's nobody else enforcing these throws. And look at this. David um, Red Sox starting off with the Bohemian instead. Sorry, the hippie. Yeah. He's the hippie in uh, San Fortuna. He's the bohemian yeah, he in uh, Sapienza. So he's going to go for a really early Andrea kill, probably. Which also makes sense, because then he could grab the band member and go into the mansion, yeah. Rico, where he can get his mansion stuff and his barber razor. Very true. So, so maybe um, just, uh, you know... A pound worth of uh, a penny worth more of uh, planning could give him a pound worth more of uh, execution here. Always makes sense. I'm not sure which strat is here uh, the faster one, but I'd say that both are definitely viable. Well, I just uh, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to put commentators curse on, but um. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, David with a, a risky knockout there. I, I heard her um, complaining, but he got away with it. But there was a definite, oh, no, oh, no. He forgot about the dude that's actually inside them, the band members, the dead band members' house. Yeah. So that is a rip. And, okay, I can come out and say what I was going to say now. There were no rips in China for either of our players, were there? So, uh... Ooh, and... Oh, oh <laughs> my! Throat, throat. Oh, somehow he in the basement of the, the car. Pets, his green guns. Say again. He caught, was caught trespassing, but he kept green guns. He was found trespassing, and the whoosh bar was simply maximum plus five. Uh, but he he got that KO from behind and uh, knocked out the second. Uh, uh, elite thug or whatever they're called on this map but that was uh that was tight that was extremely uh, tight oh yeah but he's not making it for the android i saw in time uh, the upstairs one or the downstairs one uh, the downstairs up, one the upstairs oh, one is long gone them. obviously yeah so he's probably gonna use the meantime to grab his band member and bohemian Which he does. David only went in there to actually get the um, the the kitchen knife this time. Didn't make the mistake of uh, walking straight into uh, the other band member, dude, or the roadie, or whoever he may be. Yeah, he's 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 there. Uh... Oh, is he gonna get? Uh, is he gonna get this uh, Andrea Lore? He's shooting off at those parrots. Doesn't look like it. No. I can't see a peekaboo here. I think she'll turn around the other way, maybe. Unless he can get a knockout here. Oh wow. This, this is uh, does this is look uh, aggressive. Oh, he yeah, missed it. He missed the dart. He oh no, he dart. ate the dart. However. Yeah, this should be safe. Okay. Still. Oh, what a kill. David Red Sox, that was insanely good. 
<laughs> several knockouts. One, two, three, four, <laughs> three knockouts. Was it three? It was three knockouts in a very tight space. Followed up with a yeah. kitchen knife, thrown kitchen knife kill. Very nicely done. He doesn't like that disguise for the streets. He's going back into the hippie, which makes a lot of sense. Throat, meanwhile, back at the mansion. It's, he's probably going to go for Jorge now, as he just re-equipped his ninja setup. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he's at least going for the Barber Razor first. Makes sense. Which, Seems he's not going to be trespassing up here, is he? Is he trespassing yeah. in Hector's room or in the bathroom? No, nope. he didn't. So... Nice uh, weapon grab there. It makes an awful lot of sense. Yeah, now making his way towards Jorge. It looks like um, he's gonna get him in the shed, which is good timing wise because he's gonna be there at around six minutes. <laughs> or nine minutes. You never know with Jorge. <laughs> he could be. He's either on his bike or um, stuck in a stuck in a puddle. Look, he is actually on his bike this time. Yeah. It's not often you get Jorge here around about the half five mark, um, five and a half minute mark. No, he he, he definitely got he, a Jorge with so fast without cuffing or without cuffing much. Yeah, he's gonna get a. Does he get the peekaboo? He cool. some big yeah. whoosh there. I think he just gets Jorge. He's having he to go to again, again for a second one. The third time, oh. he, uh, Jorge is taking the piss. Oh, no. And now he's getting the helicopter pilot. Now he's got Jorge. We've got musical peekaboo. Yeah. Oh, oh he's no, just Jorge's not, not going playing, to. is he? Throat, I should imagine Throat must have his microphone off because normally by now when things start... Uh, yeah. Getting on his nerves. Um, he'll let you know. He'll let his neighbours yeah, know as well. Got him now. <laughs> Whether they want to know or not, he's got him now. Nice distraction for one of uh, Jorge's guards there, because of course they can. There's the next snap. Just needs to box him and get the get out of there fast. Yeah, he doesn't even need to box him because it's guards fuck off as soon as oh yes of course uh, they do yeah him. it's only yeah. when he's uh, up and walking they um they give a shit same with a lot of vip guards you, you gotta think they don't really like their principles that much you notice um victor novikov's uh, guard does that he'll bugger off as soon yeah. as victor's dead but yeah throat one kill down yeah so rico is isolated same amount of kills uh, I think Frode already has a band member here, so it should be the second kill for him. Yep, just yep. checking his uh, spin link there, probably. Barber Razor in hand. Rico is deaded. Rico Delgado has yeah. Been Two out of three so kills done. Just the Andrea kill left. But he also needs the isolation. And he's actually opting to go through the caves here, not going through the front door or the ladder. Yeah, he doesn't have to um, traverse across the uh, courtyard there. He could bring a guard in, I suppose. I mean, he did have a guard there, or did he use that to get something else? He must have used it to get out the first time. That is... No, uh, he only has. Oh, yeah, he did use it the first time, and he only has uh, mentioned stuff there. But sure. Mentioned stuff could also have gotten him out the front door, and he's also oh, missing Andrea's second cycle. So Andrea, I'm going to have to wait for Andrea cycle. taking the Mickey a little bit here. Hey, David, meanwhile, in the hippie outfit. Hey, what's up, man? Sit down. And throat opting not to go through that window, which is uh, which is quite wise, because you can rip quite easily going through there. David went through that window when he um, when he got it. He just straight in, not even a little bit of whoosh. Yeah, you see yeah, it no, so yeah, often people you don't rip. get 
Yeah, you don't get wood there. You are, you have to wait for the um, the other guy that is next to the hippie to uh, bend his head and then you can walk in. Otherwise, you'll get spotted instantly oh, without a wood. Throat wasn't even taking that risk, though, was he? He was just, uh, no, I've got a crowbar, I'm going to use it. I mean, it's not really a risk. It's just you have to look at him and wait in one second. Dude, it's a risk. All right. <laughs> and he's brought a crowbar and he's gonna bloody well use it in fact they both have it's uh, not just any old crowbar it's an ICA titanium crowbar made from the finest ICs and A's David getting himself a match and staff it's a long drag to the box though isn't it yeah Nobody should uh, walk in here for David. And Schroeder is now waiting to do, do the peekaboo instead of KOing them and then getting entry when she gets up the stairs. Makes kind of sense. You got a bit of activity going. Oh no, he's going for the KO. He's you spoke too to soon. KO them. You spoke yeah. far too <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah, um, I have an affiliate link for the, uh, the crowbar, the ICA titanium crowbar. Kenny and David knocking out Jorge in the tunnels. Oh, and he got a crime notice, and that's a rip. And David was quite no. far into that spin as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, obviously he had red guns from Jorge because he hit him straight in the face, but there was another. I think there was um, uh, one, of the, one of the guards just a bit further up the tunnel that ripped him there. So that's unfortunate. So this is uh, Froggies for the losing. We've only got 18 minutes left on the spin. 12 minutes have gone by. Yeah. Froggy's just going to oh. bury this in the back of her head. Beautiful. Yep. Like, a, like a really cool circus artist. It shouldn't be uh, really enforced now in his way, so it should be a finish for Throat. Yeah, he's on his way to the buff stop. He's going to sit down there first before actually exiting. And it's looking pretty damn good. Ban him if he sits down. <laughs> oh, boo. Ban him if he doesn't sit down, I say. But yeah, man, looks like that is definitely a GG for throat. Green yeah. guns at the end. Five stars, 11 minutes and 25 seconds on his in-game time. And there is the confirmation from the admin. Froaty has taken this Division 1 match. GG to Froggy. And lucky there, David. Um... Very close, uh, China. Very close, China. But Santa Fortuna, he um, those those rips absolutely ruined him. Um, Froty, one just one one visit, and that was it. He went straight through, yeah. but very very nicely done. Okay, now have the standings been updated? Do we know this? Let's have a look. Not just yet. But uh, I suppose uh, it's yeah, I, will... I can update it real quick. Go on, then. You update it. That would be nice. Oh, I need to log in again. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which match day was this? Uh, I suppose day two? I don't yeah, know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking yeah, the wrong person. Be. I'm not an admin. I've got a much easier oh. job. I just do shoutcasting and playing. It's much, yeah, much simpler. It's, it's updated now. Okay, there we go. And that has taken that. That has bumped Froaty up to seventh place now. Um, apparently, he's still only got zero points. Why would this be? What? Why does he have zero points? It says zero points there. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, so Pappy is. Uh, Happy is um, <laughs> broken Division 1. Are you just sore because you're not in Div 1? And you're gonna, you just want to ruin it for the rest of the kids. That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> That's what you do. Because <laughs> David Red Sox is uh, in second place with uh, one win, one draw. So did you put it in right? No, I didn't. No, oh my god. Okay, apparently, uh, 
Okay. He gave Throat 4 0, but the loss. No, I, I did give Throat the win. I am not sure why it doesn't show on the break hit. Uh, I'll figure this out later. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's not worry too much about it, but we know that Throat he has. Um... He won that match, so he does now have two points, which should put him up to uh, to fifth place either way. And um, David, his well, even though you've given him a win now, haven't you? So um, you should actually uh, should actually come down a bit. It it'll be fine. It's a league. It's a marathon, not a sprint. We don't have to worry about uh, we don't have to worry about. Um, everything being accurate all the downtime because uh, you can do that i know i can't well pappy any takeaways from um sad fortuna or chongqing there um uh, i think uh on chong we didn't have any rips none and... at all no yeah was well, just uh the difference that fraud activated the satellite earlier or deactivated it, and oh, yeah. Santa was <laughs> really well played by Fraud too, so he didn't rip on Santa either. David uh, had this unfortunate Jorge rip. Uh, so, yeah, definitely well played by both players. Yeah, he had an early rip as well, um, going to get the bat, well, going to get the kitchen knife in the, band the oh, dead band member's house. Yeah, tr yeah true. But uh, no, uh, Throat, very efficient running through that. Um, didn't seem to bother him at all, but uh, very good game. GG's to Throaty, and um, I'm going to take that source off the screen because at the minute it's just taking the mic, isn't it? So, <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody for coming to join us. GG's to Throaty. Refresh it now. Oh, can I? All right, I'll yes. try and refresh it then. Bloody hell. <laughs> Give it one more look. There we go. Is that better? Froaty's up to third place now that you can see that. Froaty in third, and David's been knocked down to fifth. But either way, let's go give um let's go give um that observer a raid. Uh Pappy, thanks for joining me, mate. Great time. Uh GG's Fro. Unlucky there, David, but there's more games to come. Anyway, bye bye.